next exercise we are looking at uh, which law has the largest sum so let's look at the example here first so we are looking at the law that should be the answer and then depends on the largest sum so this question is a bit uh, amb ambiguous but um, let me uh, show you quickly uh, I think I need to have at least uh, 3 or 4 let's say 4 laws so it will be clear so we have a uh, two dimensional array 4 by 2 uh, let me just type uh, some random numbers let's say 10 some numbers here and there Okay, let me name it as uh, my array. Um, somehow I end up with uh, 80 too many times, but um, it doesn't matter. So if you look at the first law, so we are looking at the law and the largest sum. So if you look at uh, the first law, which is uh, zero, let me type the index 0, 1, and then 2 and 3. So, according to first law, we are looking at 10 plus 70 is going to be 80. Look at the second law. So if you look at here 80, then uh, you need to compare with the uh, next law. That means I will name it as a max. Then uh, I'm going to compare with the second law and third law and fourth law. So second law. Last sum, uh, the sum of the second law is uh, again happen to be 80. And then third law, 40 plus 80 is going to be 120. So largest sum at this point compared to 80, that will be third law. Fourth law happen to be same, 20 plus 60 is going to be 80. So if you compare with uh, um, the first law with the second and third and fourth answer will be uh, third law because it has a sum of 120. That's what we are trying to do at this point. So there's 80, 120. Fourth law is um, 80. I will save it as a sum of law. Each of them. So we have a um, array reference variable called my array, and then we have a two variable. One is max, the other one is sum of all. 
So what we are looking at is here, sum of law is greater than max. Then uh, we are going to save the... Uh, I think I will save two, two variables, two index variables. And then of course I need to make a decision for max as well. So if the case, sorry, uh, max will be max, there will be sum of uh, law. So we have a new value as a uh, for max. Let me make it clear if the condition is true, this is what we are trying to do. We get a new value for max. Also, we like to have a, a index of uh, that row and the index of that column. So I will say uh, largest index of low equal to um, again low is uh, represented as i. Okay, let me create a new uh, Java class. We are looking at number number And I will try to use the same example. So let me make a minor adjustment here. Uh, so we have int my array with four rows and then two columns. And then repeat three times. And then let me adjust the numbers. Uh, don't worry about it. When I test it, I will adjust the numbers to make sure that it works. So we are looking at um, one, two, three variable. Again, uh, let me copy paste. Again, that's the structure we have. max equal to zero. Then uh, let's say sum of blow. And then largest index of blow. Uh, first one, we need to get uh, value for max. So let's go through a um, for loop.
17, 0. No matter we'll be looking at the first law, so my array is 0. Uh, there are two columns, so we say length, and then max is depends on my array 0, and then depends on law, which is uh, j. So we focus on repeating uh, columns twice on the first law. That's why we are using j that reports to a column. So we can get the uh, sum of the first law to a variable called max. So let me just print the max. So 10 plus 70 should be 80. That's correct. Now we are going to look at the uh, um, uh, next step. Some uh, each lows then compare with the max to try to find out um, is there any new value for max. Then we can get the uh, index of that particular law as the largest index of law. So start with i. We are going through everything. Again, uh, sum of law should be inside. Otherwise, it will overwrite the value. So it should be initialized for each uh, law. That's why I put it here. Then now uh, we are going to focus on uh, columns. My array for each row, which is i, and then depends on number of uh, columns, which is length, j plus plus. So sum of row will be um, my array i and j. So once we have a sum of low, then we can compare with the max. So if that is the case, max equal to sum of low, then we can get the largest index of low. In this case, referring to uh, i, where i is a uh, low index. So let me move that max so we can see uh, our actual result. So if you look at the first one under 20, that refers to south law. That is correct. Let's make a minor change to um, to the second row, let's say 100. So answer is supposed to be 100, sorry. And then here we are going to look at 100. So answer should be 170. At least we know that max is working, so let's print it out uh, largest index of law. I not change here, um, it should be low index.
the sprint one uh, largest index of low. I will say low has the sum largest sum. The low has the largest sum is um, largest index of low. I know it sounds funny, but uh, that's what we have at the moment. So hundred sorry is um, a low index. So let me change to 200. That's going to be uh, index number, sorry, uh, low index number three. 